thank you so much for joining me on this as I'm checking out Pink Floyd with Learning to Fly. Now, I've heard of Pink Floyd and I'll tell you quickly how I've heard of Pink Floyd. Um, when I was a kid, my next door neighbour was a big fan and I, I just I just knew that because um, obviously we, we ended up, when I got a little bit older, we ended up working together. So uh, he used to take me into work and he had Pink Floyd CDs because it was the time when CDs were in cars and but I never I never listened to them to me it was the sort of music that grown-ups would listen to and it wasn't my generation and I, I just never listened to them but I'd, I'd always heard of the band so I love this it's it's mesmerizing and I love that kind of that slow pulsing beat through this one that's going all the way through it and you know you add the insane guitar riff that's going on as well and his voice is incredible I'm starting to feel like I have become that grown up who needs to be listening to this music and I am eager to get back to it so I'm going to knock it back a fraction and let's see this one through to the end Okay, everybody, that was Pink Floyd with Learning to Fly, and I mentioned earlier, it was just mesmerizing. Everything about it just felt so well crafted. Like I said, I mentioned it earlier, it was that pulsing beat all the way through. The guitar riffs were incredible. His vocals were just stunning. This is a truly captivating group and I feel like I need to listen to more. It feels a little bit almost kind of hypnotic, kind of, it's, it's really drawn me in and I, and I just wanna find out what's next. A little bit like Netflix, I feel like I need to kind of binge uh, Pink Floyd. I really do, Like I, and I mentioned it earlier that I'd heard of the group back when I was a kid, uh, ended up working with my next door neighbor and like I say, he had, he had a car that had CDs in there, Pink Floyd, and for me, it was just the music that grown-ups listen to. Not not for me, not for my generation. And there's a reason. And I'm looking at the bottom now. This is the 50th anniversary of Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon. Um, I'm assuming that's an album or a tour that they may have done. Uh, but 50-year anniversary of it. You, you can't think. I, 
I cannot name an artist now. Today's music, any group, artist, individual, anybody in today's music, I can't pick anybody out who people will still be listening to in 50 years time. Not a single one. But this, and a lot of other artists, the, the legends, the, the big names that I still listen to, there's a reason for it. Because they were super talented and super good at what they did. And yeah, I, I, I need to become, well, I am now that adult that now leads to listen to Pink Floyd and take in this music because it's great and I'm eager for more. So please, 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 in the comments, flood it with your favourites and I cannot wait to continue this Pink Floyd journey. I think it's going to be an incredible rabbit hole to go tumbling down. So please help me out, name your favourites, can't wait to check out what's next. And if you want to follow along with that, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Come on the journey with me. I have a feeling this one is going to be fun. So yeah, if you want to join, hit the subscribe button. You can always change your mind afterwards. But if anything, if you enjoyed the song, you enjoyed the band, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.